Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to test Windows Autopilot deployment on our Windows 11 device. This is the fifth and last part of the mini video series on Windows Autopilot deployment. Till now, we have manually registered our Windows 11 device with Autopilot and created Autopilot test device group. In the last video, we have created an Autopilot deployment profile and assigned it to our test Azure AD device group. Now, we need to prepare our Windows 11 VM for Windows Autopilot deployment by resetting it back to UB. This is the same VM which we have manually registered with Autopilot in Intune. Click on Start button. Click on Settings. On System page, click on Recovery. Under Recovery Options, click on Reset PC. Select Remove Everything. On How would you like to reinstall Windows, select Local Reinstall. Click on Next. Finally, click on Reset to reset this Windows 11 virtual machine. As you can see, the process has been started successfully. The machine will reset back to factory Windows defaults. Once this process finishes, VM will restart automatically. Now, this Windows 11 device is about to restart automatically. After restart, it will start resetting this PC. As you can see, currently it is restarting our Windows 11 device. As you can see, currently our Windows 11 device is resetting. The machine will reset back to factory Windows defaults. Resetting the VM can take a while. So I'm going to pause the recording. Once the resetting process finishes, I'll resume it. This is a snapshot of local reinstallation of this Windows 11 device. Now that we have all the components in place, we can test the autopilot deployment using this Windows 11 VM. We have reset this Windows 11 computer back to a clean factory default state. On this page, we need to enter the username of our Azure Active Directory user account. In our case, it is going to be user1 at msfsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com. Click on Next to continue. Enter user account password and click on sign in. We can see the message, please wait while we set up your device. We can see the message, setting up your device for work or school. There are three main steps here. In device preparation, we have four steps. Securing device hardware, joining our organization's network, registering our device for mobile management and preparing a device for mobile management. The fourth step, preparing a device for mobile management is in progress. Device preparation step has been completed successfully. Moving to the next step, which is device setup. In this step, Autopilot will configure our Windows 11 device. Currently, it is installing the app which we have added in Autopilot deployment profile. Now, we are in the last step, which is account setup. The last step is in progress. Here, we can also see we have total 5 sub steps. Joining our organization's network is completed. The next, we have security policies certificates, network connections, and the last is about applications. 
earlier we have configured enrollment status page policy and that is the reason why here we are seeing this steps configure windows hello with our user account in which we need to set up a pin to protect our user account to do that click on okay here we need to complete the multi factor authentication click here to get an otp code on registered number enter the otp code and click on verify set up a pin to protect our user account click on okay click okay and this completes the windows autopilot deployment setup process we have logged into this windows 11 device using our azure ad user account test user 1 click on settings click on accounts click on access work or school here we can see the username is there user 1 at msfsurat v2.onmicrosoft.com click on info under applications we can see two app deployment confirmation one for notepad++ and second for intune management extension click on sync to initiate manual sync with intune so we can confirm that our device is registered in azure active directory and app deployment was successful too here we have deployed Notepad Plus Plus on this Windows 11 device. The device should now show up in Intune as an enabled autopilot device. The icon for this device is bit different from rest. Let's check that. Go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Sign into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We can access. Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com on home page click on devices click on all devices here we can see a windows 11 device managed by intune and ownership type is corporate let me access azure active directory admin center Let's open new tab and type URL aad dot portal dot azure dot com. Let's press enter key to access Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Click on Azure Active Directory and manage. Click on Devices. Click on all devices. We can confirm that the icon for this Windows 11 device is bit different. Click on the device name. At top, you will see a banner that this device is a Windows Autopilot device. Remember, devices deployed with Windows Autopilot cannot be deleted. in azure active directory portal under groups we can also confirm that this device is belong to a group autopilot test devices so after seeing this we can confirm that we have successfully deployed windows 11 device using autopilot deployment profile that's all for this video on how to test windows autopilot deployment on our windows 11 device with microsoft intune thank you all for watching this video have a nice day